few weeks ago, we got images of this. We've known this was coming since like September, but for me, and as well as a lot of other people, I think it took official images for it to really click how stupid this is. And yet, I still actually kind of like this set, but I'm getting a little ahead of myself. This is set 76996 and will retail for $35 in the United States coming January 1st. It comes with this big mech for Knuckles, a little glider for Rogue, and the Master Emerald, which can be picked up by Rogue's glider. I really don't have much to say. It really just speaks for itself. It's a big mech for Knuckles that Lego just made up for seemingly no reason. I'm not even against them making stuff up for sets, but they're usually either in spirit with the character, something that can work along with the challenge courses, and or is close to something that is actually in-game. And usually, and most importantly, isn't the entirety of a set. Cause like, and I'll get into this a little bit more, but my issue isn't really even the set itself or that it's a mech, but the fact that it's just solely made up for this set. If Knuckles had ever had a mech that looks like this, or even just one in general, I don't think I would complain. But from what I've researched, He's never had one. Closest I can find were these guys from the comics, but like, these are really just Metal Sonic but Knuckles. But even with all that said, as I alluded to earlier, I kinda still like this set. Like, it makes no sense to be made, but the build itself looks really solid. If I knew absolutely nothing about Sonic, and you told me that this was actually something from in-game, I'd believe you. I think it's really helped by the fact that Sonic as a franchise already has mechs in it, as well as the designers just doing a good job of making it not feel out of place in-universe, at least if it was in-universe. And Rouge's, yes I know I mispronounced it earlier, Glider is fine. Same deal with it not really feeling out of place, although maybe to a lesser extent. Kinda reminds me of Eggman stealing it in Sonic Adventure 2. And speaking of, that mold from the Master Emerald isn't even new. It's really just a reuse of this weird crystal dressed umbrella cap piece thing that was introduced for Disney Princesses earlier this year, and yet it works so perfectly here. And the figures are freaking great. Knuckles and Rouge look fantastic. Although, I think they molded Knuckles' hands in a way that means he can't actually put his hands to his side. Kinda sucks, but I think that was unavoidable. So yeah, in general, I like the set for what it is. But I just have to ask, why a mech? This could have been a good chance to make a cool little Angel Island build. Maybe even make it part of the course builder, although that could maybe cause some complications, especially at that price point. Or just make a little playset, you could totally do that at $35. But fine, let's say you don't even want to do a playset. Buildable Chaos. Buildable characters at the $30 range is like Lego's bread and butter. The more I think about it, the more it just felt like the perfect opportunity to do this. And you know what? I'm gonna go even further. If there has to be a Knuckles mech, if it was Knuckles mech or nothing, if it was contractually obligated by Sega to be a Knuckles mech, if Aaron Jarenser dreamt about making a Knuckles mech, woke up hoping to make a Knuckles mech, praying every day to eventually make a Knuckles mech, he could just... Oh, look, there's an explanation as to why it exists. Hi, Aaron. Well, I had way more than I expected to say. Also, it's just gonna suggest that they do a Knuckles Mech vs. Chaos Mech Val. With all that being said, I might actually pick this up. It's only $35 and it'll probably be very easy to find at $25. It's an easy way to get Knuckles, Rouge, and the Master Emerald. And I just like the build as stupid as it is. But with that said, I'm also probably gonna just wait to see what other sets they might come in. Hey, wait a minute, there's still runtime left. That's actually because this was originally going to be a longer video, one talking about all the recent mechs coming out, but I completely lost motivation to do it, so I decided to cancel it. I was originally going to just upload it to my second channel as it was, with some info at the end or beginning about what the video was about, but the Knuckles section was completely done, and I realized that if I uploaded like this, more people would probably see it, meaning more money. So that means there was a little bit before what you just saw and a little bit after, which I am going to play right now. I really like Lego mechs. A probably very surprising sentiment considering the reputation they've garnered over the past few years and the very title of this video. In all honesty, I'm a bit of a mech connoisseur, if you will. Big, small, good, bad, stupid, genius, stupidly genius. Hell, one of my favorite sets of all time is a mech. My main point being is, well, I can see where they're coming from. Unlike others, I've never really gotten too worked up or disappointed over the amount of mechs we've been getting. Until recently. <laughs> Several bad puns later. But I know what you might be thinking. Okay, Aiden, it's only one incredibly stupid idea for a mech. Lego pole vaulted over that line months ago. How has this made you tired of Lego mechs? And then I will have gone to talk about all these sets. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe and go to my main channel.